Carton in South Palm Beach County, Florida. It's Jewish Unity Day 2020, the Tonight Show edition, starring Josh Brody. And now here he is, Josh Brody! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to 2020, Virtual Jewish Unity Day. We're so happy to be back again with this incredible annual event. My name is Josh Brody. I'm the director of the Deborah and Larry D. Silver Center for Jewish Engagement, a division of our Jewish Federation of South Palm Beach County. For some very special opening remarks, I'd like to introduce my co-host, Eliana. This year, as we gather for Jewish Unity Day, so many people near and far are facing hardships, illness and grief, lost income, political upheaval, fear and anxiety, and continuing uncertainty. As Jews, we pray every day for peace, for harmony, for good health. Tonight, as we come together from the full diversity of Jewish South Palm Beach County, may our unity be a source of inspiration, strength and hope that reaches all those who are struggling throughout our community and far beyond. Thank you so much, Eliana. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the very special late night edition of Jewish Unity Day. As you can tell, it's actually daylight here. That's because here in Boca, no one is staying up too late to watch the late night show. Of course, I would like to introduce the band right now. We've got Ahuva, Eitan, Eliana, and all the other children are here joining us on their virtual instruments. What a crazy year it's been. Talk about Jewish irony. This year's Passover was canceled because of a plague. <laughs> and. We know we like to eat a lot of food, and we've probably been eating a lot more food now than ever. And as a rabbi, I get many phone calls. They say, Rabbi, maybe I should move the mezuzah from the front door to the refrigerator, because that's the only door I've been opening lately. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Jewish Unity Day. You know, we were very concerned. We were very nervous every single year. For the past six years, you can see, we've been running Jewish Unity Day. And each and every year, we've been filling up more theaters, more venues to capacity. This year, what would we do? We don't have the option of going outside. We can't do this event in public. But then we realized, you know what we can do? We can take an important lesson. We can take the message of Jewish Unity Day and bring it to a bigger audience. That's right, because you could be tuning in right now from up north. Maybe you're tuning in from the west coast. Maybe it's even Israel. And you're saying to yourself, you know what? What's with this Jewish unity? I haven't really heard my community doing anything. Is it possible? Ladies and gentlemen, not only is it possible, not only is it achievable, but first of all, we've got the award to prove it. The only Jewish community anywhere in the world to ever win the Jerusalem Unity Prize from the President of Israel, along with the former mayor of Jerusalem near Barkat, many, many members of the Knesset. We're all there to witness what South Palm Beach County has been doing. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a very special moment for our community, and we want to show you exactly what's been happening. Jewish unity is not just a dream. Jewish unity is possible. Now you know that there's a program called Jewish Unity Day, but you're wondering where did it all begin? Take a look at this video. Three teens who are missing in Israel have been found dead. A revenge killing triggered new violence in Jerusalem. To commemorate the horrendous murder of five sons, we were looking to unite the Jewish people and the, the people in the state of Israel. We created the Jerusalem Unity Prize and Unity Day to celebrate people and organizations working to bring people together. The idea of the Unity Prize is the most potentially transformative institution in the state of Israel. Together with Gesher, the Jerusalem mayor, Nir Barkat, and the three families, we are putting unity on the national agenda. This single day, over one million people are engaging in acts of unity. It is the greatest symbol and project of its kind ever. We cannot afford to let our differences divide us. The 
these heroic parents, in the midst of death, have changed the Jewish world. The families of the boys have asked the Jewish world to lead the way. To show what can be done for real Around reality. the world right now, there are approximately 1.2 million Jews participating in a Jewish unity event. Welcome to Unity Day. Today has been an extraordinary day. We urge you to make the most of this opportunity to support us. And one in this is the legacy of our boys. Ladies and gentlemen, now you understand why Jewish Unity Day is such an important day on our community's calendar. It's become the biggest day, it's become the most important day because it tells you what we here believe in. And if you have a community that's never worked on a Jewish Unity Day project or never heard of this idea before, go speak to your community leaders and you can show them that it is possible. Just send them a link to this video. We have so much more for you tonight, so much more entertainment, inspirational stories, even a special musical guest. Stay tuned. We'll be back right after these words. Our Jewish story begins long before any of us, and it will continue long after us. What will it say? That we accepted reality or that we reimagined it? We can't begin to shape our story until we recognize that we are one people. We need each other. Together, we transform lives. This is our story. Support the Jewish Federation of South Palm Beach County. And we are back. Ladies and gentlemen, one of the great things that our community is so proud of is our community's rabbis. A number of years ago, we actually got together for a photo shoot. Took a picture of all of our rabbis together. It's not photoshopped. Everyone stood together, posed for a picture. And where do we put that? Not on the back page of some newspaper that no one's ever going to see it. Put on the cover of our community's magazine. It's such a great statement. But although we might be colleagues, we're so much more than that. We're friends. Our community here in South Palm Beach County is really a special place. And we are not worried and we're not afraid. We're not looking over our shoulder, the right or the left. But rather, we put what's important, the values that we cherish, out front, and we're not afraid to pursue it together. It's not that we're all the same. There are issues that we would disagree greatly on. Um, and it's beautiful that way. But like many facets on a diamond, I think this community um, loves its facets. And it, it glows and it glimmers because of the diversity that lies here. Even in times of disagreement, as a result of the unity conversation, we can sit around the table and figure out a compromise and figure out a middle ground that allows our community to survive and allows our community to continue to be successful. Every one of us, as human beings, we were created different. We have different minds. But the idea is, if we can sit on, around the same table and help each other and really see each other as every one of us has a pure soul, there's nothing greater than working together. Here's the amazing thing about our unity in Boca Raton. The amazing thing is there's nothing special about it or about us. We are ordinary people. We just have this extraordinary commitment to this value. And when ordinary people have that commitment, it's very easy to achieve. When we're divided, we're vulnerable. And when we're together, we're invincible. Wow. Have you ever seen rabbis work so well together? These are genuine friends, and they've been working harder than ever. Their synagogues might be closed, but they have never been more open. They're running virtual programs every single day, all day. And I can tell you that people way beyond their own synagogues are tuning in. One of the challenges we had right when Corona began in our community was, how does everyone know where to go for local programming? Of course, if you're a member of a local synagogue, or you belong to an agency or a local Jewish organization, so it's very easy. All you do is go to their website. But what if you're one of the almost 140,000 Jews living in South Palm Beach County and you don't belong to a local synagogue and you're not a member of one of our local agencies? How do you know where to find that programming? The CJE put together an incredible website. We called it the portal because it was a portal, a gateway to everything you could ever want to find and everything that was available in one place, one website. And how did we do it? We collaborated with almost 70 of our local agencies, 70 of our synagogues, put them all together in one place and brought all those links because all it was was a link. You had to just click it and instantly you'd be transported to one of their programs. Yom Ma'ut, Yom Zikaron, over 70 programs. 
It was unbelievable. Everyone participated. Passover, Shavuot, all the major Jewish holidays. We had something for you. But now you're wondering, Corona, it will end. How do we keep this community? Let's emphasize the unity moving forward. We've got a very, very special breaking news surprise for you, and it's coming to you right now. J to J, breaking news, you've never heard it before, it's right here. This is where we're going to take our community to an entirely new level, website, app. We want to make sure that you have your Jewish community in the palm of your hands. Eliana, take a look at this. Just read this to everyone. Let's make sure that everyone understands what this community is about to do. Engage and connect with South Florida's vibrant Jewish community. JAJ provides personalized access to the many people, organizations, and events that make this region a haven for Jewish living, connecting and unifying this growing community. Thank you so much, Eliana. That was incredible. And J to J is going to be a transformative new initiative that is truly going to impact our incredible Jewish community. Stay tuned for more over the coming weeks. Part of what makes Jewish Unity Day so special is that we always involve the families of the three boys that were murdered. Please take a look at this special interview that we just conducted. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're about to do probably the most important part of tonight's program, which is an interview with one of the most special couples we've ever met here in our community, the Sha'irs. We all know, as you saw in the video at the beginning of tonight's program, that unfortunately about six years ago, there were three very special boys. You had Naftali, you had Gilad, and you had Ayal. Very young teenagers, who unfortunately lost their life to terrorism in Israel. But their murder, sparked a movement. And we watched the movie before about what's happened in terms of Jewish unity. So it's really an honor, a real privilege tonight that we get to interview a very special couple, Gilad's parents, Bat Galim and Ophir, who are not only people that you're going to meet right now in an interview, but are people that we in our community consider dear friends. And it's really, really special that you took the time to do this. And I thought maybe we could just begin. Just tell us a little bit about your son, Gilad. What would people need to know? Okay, so first of all, uh, as you said, we really feel very close to you and to everyone who just uh, saw us now, even all the thousands of kilometers we have from you. Um, and we really, in your heart, and it's very honor us for us to take a participate with your uh, Unity Day for the sixth time. Um, Gilad was uh, 16 years old, and I think that uh, one of the more things that we we can say about him that he had a very special combination, because from one hand he was very um, serious pupil. He liked to learn uh, and was very serious in what he has done in his yeshiva. And in the same time, he was um, like his life. He was uh, the person who had to celebrate all the birthdays to his friends. Uh, he had fish in his room. He made fun from many things. And, and the combination between joy and be seriously and deeply when he needs to was something very special that uh, uh, we can see it's something that uh, I think everyone when he's doing something can take from it and you know don't, no, don't be all the time serious or don't be all the time uh, in fun without thinking try to combine it. Um, Maybe I can add that uh, that was very sensitive boy his friends uh, told us that uh, their uh, connection with him was very deeply and was very meaningful uh, friendship. Uh, of course, we all uh, missed, uh, missed him very much. And I think the fact that uh, a boy, a young boy who knows to appreciate the uh, friendship and uh, who knows how to be a very uh, good friend and uh, uh, take care about his friends and ask everyone, how do you feel? and uh, uh, how you are and, and try to really understand very special 
So I think it's very, uh, this is very delayed. You mentioned that you've got a new program now, Sunshine Program. I'm just going to take a moment to show everyone a video that you just sent me. עשרות מיליוני יהודים יש בעולם. בחשבון פשוט, רבים מהם חולקים תאריך לידה משותף. אך לא מדובר רק במספר או בצירוף מקרים. כשמישהו נולד בתאריך מסוים, יש לכך משמעות גדולה. כשאני מכיר מישהו שנולד בתאריך שלי, משהו בלב שלי נפתח. בדיוק מהסיבה הזאת, אנו מבקשים לייצר פלטפורמה ייחודית של מדיה חברתית, אשר מאפשרת חיבור בין יהודים בכל רחבי העולם, החוגגים את יום הולדתם באותו תאריך. כל מה שאתם צריכים לעשות הוא להצטרף, להכניס את הפרטים שלכם, שם פרטי ושם משפחה, תאריך לידה ותמונות פרופיל. פשוט, לא? הפלטפורמה תאפשר חיבור בין יהודים שונים בכל רחבי העולם, בגילאים שונים ותחומי חיים מגוונים, וגם לחגוג את יום ההולדת ביחד. המערכת תאתר ותחבר בין שני אנשים שנולדו באותו יום, וכל מה שהם יצטרכו לעשות זה ליצור קשר טלפוני ולאחל ברכת מזל טוב זה לזה. וזו רק ההתחלה. In those days, and even now, the heart of all the Jewish around the world. And even as you mentioned before, we were on Boca a few years ago, and for us, it was something amazing to see the event you have done with all the communities that are in Boca. This is one of the special uh, reasons that for us to get to your community, the Unity Prize, because I think the model that you have should be in every community all around, of course, the United States, but all over the world, how all the, you know, people from many kinds of communities in Boca could be together, how the leaders like you and all the rabbis and all the people we see could be together from a good place and make things so special. And for us, all the projects we're trying to do on Sunshine to make this connection between Israel and Jewish around the world is something that we even those days of Corona making even better. Wow. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. I, first of all, I want to thank you for your time. You know, you guys are an inspiration to countless people. And again, to me, the greatest part of this entire uh, experience has just been getting to know both of you. And I can't wait to get back to Israel, get to see you again soon. Yeah, just to, uh, for, sorry, I forgot something else that, uh, right. but the Lim, uh, two years ago, had published a, a book. It was in Hebrew, now it's in Amazon in English. It's called Expecting My Child. And it's again something that I think that uh, when you read this book, it's really, of course, the story of our tragic of the three boys, but it's a story of, the Jewish nation. It's a, it's a story about the power, the strength that we got from all the Jewish nation that one of each other give to another. Uh, and for us, it's something that I think that uh, it's, a, it's a very special book to, to read and to understand the, the, the unity, as you said from the beginning. Wow. Someone maybe has been told me that it's very hard to be a Jewish, but it's a uh, a big deal and they're really proud to be a part and I think that after you read the, this book you can understand how special a nation we have. Amazing. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much again for your time. Can't wait Thank to see you, you again soon. Thank you to you and again, to everyone. Please okay. let everyone you speak to, let them know that unity is alive in South Palm Beach County because of you guys. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank so you very much. much. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you so much. We'll be right back after these words. Together, we build opportunity. We empower young leaders. We bridge Jewish memory with an exciting Jewish future. We turn moments into promises to do good for our Jewish community and the world. Together, we can do anything. Together, we make the world a better place. Together, we thrive.
The driving force behind our Jewish community is obviously our Jewish Federation here in South Palm Beach County. They do incredible work. I'd like to welcome a very, very special person, Deborah Halpern, who is the campaign chair, and her husband Larry, to give us one of those classic top 10 lists. These are the top 10 reasons you should consider donating to our 2020 annual campaign. I think it's a good list, Larry. How many reasons? 10. You think there are 10 good reasons ten to give to reasons Federation? I have them here. I'm a little skeptical, but okay, I'm going to have an open you mind. Hear them? I want to hear you them. You want to hear them? I do. We'll start with 10. Let's hear it. We'll start with 10. Boom. And we'll work our way down. Go for it. Okay, 10. Donate today, and we can guarantee you will not receive another phone call from us all year. Not going to hear from one? you? That's a good one. No phone calls. No phone calls. Amazing. That's a good one. Number nine. Okay, that's good. Nine, giving now is more important than ever. Absolutely. We all know that. Federation, giving now is more important than ever. Eight, with a simple action you take, you can improve someone's life today. Wow. That's what it says here. Okay. I believe that. I do. With all my heart. Number seven, give today to see the change tomorrow. Fantastic. Give today to see the change tomorrow. Amazing. That's a good one. We're, we're in the first third. Number six, what else do you have to do with your money right at this time? Think about it. We're home. This is a good place to put money when we're thinking about what, where we could spend our money. Seriously, what's everybody doing? Everybody that has a job now, it's like you're not going out. You're not going to restaurants. You're not taking vacation. You're, you're not uh, buying gas for your car. No one's going anywhere. This is good. This is good. This is a good one. Great idea. Number five, support all of our hard work to make this campaign as successful as possible. Beautiful. We can do that, right? Beautiful. Number four, build the future by giving in the present to the 2020 annual campaign. We know it's all about the future, right, Larry? You know, Deborah, it's about building. I mean, look at what Federation does. Look at all the incredible things that Federation does every day. The people that we help, the elderly. That's it young children, people in need, Holocaust survivors, here in our local community in Israel and all over the world. It's fantastic. What one gift can do that much good? It's all here. It's all, it's here. all here. And that's not even number one yet. We're still in the middle. Number three, here's a little rhyme. Give a share to show you care. Amazing. Give a share to show you care. We're in the home stretch, Larry. Okay. Number two, not quite the drum roll yet. But number two, giving is the realization that every little bit helps. No gift is too large, Larry. No gift is too small. Each gift adds up. Each gift adds up. You know, I, I learned a, a while ago, we learned a while ago, that when you give a little bit more, you, you have this like anxiety. You're going to give 365 and you jump to 500. You say, oh, that's so much more money. You're How gonna you give a thousand, you, you jump to eighteen hundred. You have anxiety increasing your gift. But you first of all, you don't realize the impact, the, the greater impact, the multiplier that you're gonna have. And second of all, you have a multiplier of great feeling. When you increase your gift, and nothing terrible happens. You really most people you can most people can afford, we can all afford to increase our gifts. All good. I love it. Drum roll. Drum roll. The number one reason to give your gift to the annual campaign, we're reading it here, your gift to the annual campaign of the Jewish Federation extends further than any other philanthropic gift. From our backyard to Israel to more than 70 countries around the world, your gift will improve the lives of those who need it most in our Jewish family, now and always. Now more than ever, we need to provide for all of those in need. Please join us. Join Please us. join us. Please join us. Boom. Kill them. Good. That's a wrap. Thank you so much, Deborah. Larry, that was so funny. You are so great, and our Jewish Federation is really working harder than it's ever worked because there are so many people that need assistance. You can make a difference by contributing to our local campaign, and you can do it by making a donation right now.
And now for our special Jewish Unity Day musical guest, Distant Cousins, an indie folk pop band from Los Angeles. The band is composed of Ami Kazak, Dov Rosenblatt, and Dovid Swirsky. Both Rosenblatt and Swirsky are prominent figures in the modern Jewish music scene. Rosenblatt being a former lead singer of the Jewish rock band Blue Fringe, and Swirsky being a founding member of the Moshav Band. Today, Distant Cousins performs all over the country and has their music featured in films, television shows, commercials, and trailers. Their new album, Here and Now, was just released and is available on all streaming platforms. For more info, distantcousinsofficial.com. Joining us here from their living rooms is their debut single, Here and Now, featuring guest singer-songwriter, Lindsey Ray. Ready? There won't always be tomorrow All we have is here and now Life is sweet but time is borrowed All we have is here and now Oh, the further I go The closer I get to the goal The less I know Thank you so much, Distant Cousins. But before we continue, I'd like to thank the sponsors of tonight's program, the Helen and Irving Spatz Foundation. Stay tuned for our special Jewish Unity Day edition of Weekend Update, where you're going to hear incredible stories of how our community is working together in ways we never would have imagined. Like the heads of our local day schools and yeshivot, who are meeting regularly on Zoom. And when seniors could no longer come in person to the Levis JCC Sandler Center for the arts, culture, and learning activities that they normally count on, the center took its programming right into their homes. Now they're zooming in for music, book clubs, women's group, Jewish cooking, Jewish thought, and so much more. Not only entertaining and informative, these programs are a lifeline for those that are in isolation. We'll be back right after these words. Together we build opportunity. We build hope for a bright Jewish future. We are one family. We believe in a people that includes everyone and inspires the world. Together we honor the past and build for the future. Together we can do anything. Together we make the world a better place. Together we thrive. Weekend Update with your hosts, Josh Brody and Eliana Brody.
Welcome to the very special Jewish Unity Day edition of Weekend Update. With so much taking place in the world today, we wanted to share some of the very special stories that you might have missed. Stories that demonstrate how our Jewish community works together during some of the most challenging times. Eliana? Recognizing that many seniors needed help with shopping and running errands and that students adjusting to their new online distance learning platforms may struggle with various subjects, Max set about developing opportunities for his peers to provide the assistance needed. First recruiting at his own Cassie Shiva High School, he's gone on to engage students through Donna Klein Jewish Academy and other regional day schools. Shape continues to grow and now has dozens of volunteer students tutoring on Zoom and FaceTime and many more helping seniors around the Jewish community. When a sudden opportunity arose of a donation of many truckloads of kosher for Passover food, there was no doubt that we would make it happen. And because of the efforts of our local federation, Jewish Family Services, HOT, and our local synagogue network, thousands of meals were quickly distributed to those in need. One of the recipients wrote, I have about $40 a week for groceries and non-food items. I've been very sad and very stressed. You can't possibly know how it feels not to have to search for help. Despite the challenges we face as a community, we are reminded of the next generation who continue to find ways to connect with each other, learn together, and thrive. It's truly inspiring to watch. NTSY is amping up programming to keep our youth engaged with programs. One teen noted, it's crazy how, in a way, we're all more connected than we've ever been before, and it's all because of you guys. So thank you so much. BBYO has developed a new digital platform, BBYO On Demand. Kyle, an 11th grader, explained how over the last few weeks, I've met new teens who I can now call my friends from around the world, hosted programs I would not have been able to beforehand, and I've gotten closer with regional friends as well. Our federation supported teen programming partners are doing an amazing job creating innovative Jewish experiences through online venues. After being profoundly impressed and inspired, by their life-saving volunteer emergency medical services across Israel, four years ago, our Jewish Federation purchased a Jerusalem-based ambucycle, an ambulance motorcycle for United Hatzalah. With our ongoing support and driven by the highly trained Yishai, our ambulance continues to respond to medical emergencies in as little as 90 seconds, long before an ambulance even arrives. Yishai is one of 6,000 United Hatzalah volunteer medics who jump on their motorcycles and race to a nearby medical emergency to save lives. Consistency is especially important for children with special needs and changes in routine are very stressful. Our special needs community as a whole is feeling the struggle at home. Fortunately, during their long days at home, young people with special needs are taking part in an incredible array of lively, meaningful online activities. From the time they wake up, they can get moving with yoga, zumba, and taekwondo. They can sing along with music therapy, enjoy concerts, and rock at dance parties. They can be creative with arts and crafts, play bingo, laugh with clowns, learn about Jewish life, and so much more. Edith, who is 95 years old, who lives alone in Delray Beach, and has trouble cooking, was so relieved to start receiving kosher Meals on Wheels through JFS. She's one of 100 new local Meals on Wheels households enrolled, and that's a 70% increase since the coronavirus crisis, many of whom are Holocaust survivors. JFS also added a volunteer-based Shop and Share, a very special program for our seniors. When the stay-at-home order came to our community, it became clear that we must increase our phone calls to Sam and to all the other survivors in March to Miriam. Sam, who now lives alone, expressed his feelings of loneliness and his desire for human connection. So, with the help of modern technology, he is able to FaceTime his March to Miriam family. Sam chooses to look at the brighter side of his time in quarantine during this pandemic. He feels fortunate to be healthy and to be spending his time in his comforts of his own home. For Weekend Update, I'm Josh Brody. And I'm Eliana Brody. <laughs> See you next time. And for our final segment tonight, none of this would have ever been possible without an incredibly dedicated group of people, but especially our dear friends, Deborah and Larry D. Silver. Thank you, Josh. What an incredible program. We are so proud to support the work of the CJE and all that it does to unite our Jewish community. And now for the moment you've all been waiting for, da, 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 the grand finale. For the past six years, we've concluded Jewish Unity Day with a special song, Osei Shalom, a song of peace. Ladies and gentlemen, 
Shem Kramer in the Riverdale Jewish Center in New York, and Chazen Johnny Turgle of Stanmore United in London. Oh, 